Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We finally got it, the long-awaited Tekken Bloodline uh, trailer. At the end of this, there is a release date. I'll go ahead and show you all right now. It is coming out August 18th. This completely blew my mind. I thought we were going to get this trailer at EVO. So that only begs the question, what are they going to show at EVO? If it's not this, what are they going to show? But I'll make a video talking about that uh, like tomorrow or something. For now, let's do a breakdown. So hopefully this video doesn't get hit by copyright, copyright claim, but I'm going to try to show as much as I can. First, starting off, you have Jin and you have uh, Jun Kazama. This right here looks like the Infinite Azure. On the right side, you have the original, and then the, on the left side, you have kind of the one that was added. I believe in season two is DLC, free DLC, but that's what this reminds me of. Whose eyes peer at you from the dark? Jun Kazama says, what is it that haunts you? Whose eyes peer in from the darkness? And then we see Ogre standing here with this green highlight around him. And look how big and bulky he looks. That's one thing we'll notice getting into this trailer. Look at how big everybody look, like buff. These guys are like WWE superstars back in the 90s buff. Look how small that shield is on his arm. Think of your helplessness when Ogre killed your mother. So right here he says, think of the helplessness when Ogre killed your mother. And then I'm guessing this is when Jin wakes up. He wakes up and then, so, so in the story, Ogre attacks, knocks out Jin. When he wakes up, his building is on fire. We can see the fire there and he's crying. So I'm guessing he's kind of like, you know, what happened to my mom? In Jin's mind, he think Ogre killed her. Harada said on Twitter already, that's not the case. The character is simply missing. Hopefully we get answers to that in this. When, when he says Ogre kills your mother, I'm guessing this is the final standoff between the two. Ogre is coming in, look like he's about to do some crazy unblockable, and then it cuts to a kick. Once again, I said this already, but the block animation right there is pulled straight out of tech. And this is the same block animation that happens in the game. Heiachi tells him, in order to defeat him, you must bestoke your Kazama pacifism. And you must take up the, what does he say? Take up the Mishima? You must purge the Kazama pacifism and stoke your Mishima fire. So he's kind of saying, join the dark side in a way. All that lovey-dovey stuff your mom taught you is not going to take down Ogre. And I, I really don't see this as Heiachi trying to teach him right from wrong. Heiachi is just trying to get him on his side. Now this part here had me so hyped. Considering that Jin is still wearing his gray outfit, I don't think the tournament would have started this early on. Maybe this is just some sort of training dojo. After beating him up the first time, now Heiachi's trying to teach him for real. That's what this tells me. This is what's so funny. So Jin right here is weak. We know that because one, he's not wearing his true Jin outfit in Tekken 3. And further down the trailer, he's a little bit more bulky. He's a little bit bigger like everyone else is. The fact that he's so scrawny here, you can see that he's weak. And you can see that a simple jab is putting him in this big block stun that sets up a hell sweep for free. That's how weak Jin is here. A jab on block guarantees a hell sweep follow up. Jesus, that is so dope. I'm going to tear you down completely. Then I will build you back up. So he said, I will tear you down and I will bring you back up. It shows Jin like training with these sandbags. I guess we'll get some sort of training montage. Body itself will be a weapon. Mishima style is the only way. Mishima style is the only way. Your body will be a weapon. And as this training montage goes on, notice his outfit switches from gray to the red gloves, the iconic gloves. And just seeing how this trailer is framed, I'm guessing he's going to get these from Heiachi. Once he's ready, once he's powerful enough, Heiachi is going to be like, okay, you are now a Mishima. You are now one of us. And he gives him this. I think that would be really cool. See, see, so notice here, look how much more buff he is. This guy is ripped now. For those of you guys who don't know this, from the time that Jun Kazama is attacked by Ogre to the start of Tekken 3 is a five year gap. 
So depending on how much time he's training, it could be one year, two years, three years, or five. He could be training all the way up until the King of the Iron Fist tournament. It's time. And then we get this sort of big open stadium kind of thing. And, and notice all of these seats are empty. There is not a crowd here. And then it's Heiachi standing at the top looking so dope here. He looks real old here. If I didn't know any better, I would think this was Jim Pachi, just considering how old he looks. He's at the top giving a speech. You have King down here looking incredible. So this probably will be the second generation King. The original King dies to Ogre, and then the, the second King comes in and takes up the mantle. Fang, this is something that I noticed immediately. Fang in the trailer. Look like Nina Williams back there. Lei Shaolan right there. So at the top, it says King of the Iron Fist Tournament. I can't tell who this is, but it's probably Jin. I can see they're shirtless with black pants. This one looked like it's all purple or blue, so that's probably Lee or Lane. Oh, is this Leroy Smith? Oh, this could be Leroy Smith, actually. Yeah, it is. I can see a little bit of gray hair there. Right here, it says Versus. I am so proud of what they've done with Leroy Smith in this trailer. I know a lot of people was questioning why he's here and he shouldn't be here. I already did a video explaining why he definitely will be here. And now seeing this trailer, it makes it seem like exactly what I was saying in that video is actually the case. The DLC story that came with Leroy Smith is not for Tekken 7. That DLC story for Leroy Smith is actually for Tekken 3. It all makes sense now. Paul Phoenix versus King. I really want to see this battle play out. Also the Leroy Smith one. But the reason why King versus uh, Paul Phoenix is so incredible because Paul Phoenix is powerful. And this fight will tell us how powerful King is. What's up? Hi. Williams is a killer. <laughs> she doesn't look too dangerous. So here we have Paul Phoenix. I really love this art style. Paul Phoenix and then we have Julia. This is her Tekken 7 outfit, which is odd, but not really because here's the thing. Tekken 7 sold 9 million copies. It's the most popular Tekken ever at this point. So it would make sense to use the outfits that that Tekken 7 has established. Nina William on the side there looking like the silent type, the silent assassin. <sighs> Look at this. And this jumpsuit is just on point. I would wear this in real life. <laughs> Jin tells Zhao Yu that Nina is a killer. And Zhao Yu says, she doesn't look too dangerous. And then you get this picture of her just looking evil. I'm wondering if these two are going to fight Zhao Yu versus Nina. Harong walks up and says, that's the spirit. <laughs> that's the spirit? You two are friends? No. <laughs> Harong walks up and says, that's the spirit. Nina says, you two are friends. He says no, and it shows a picture of them fighting in the tournament. This is gonna be so incredible. Oh my God. I'd love to teach one of Heihachi's goons a lesson. I am so happy for Leroy Smith. He says, I would love to teach one of Heihachi's goons a lesson. And then he's staring Jin down eye to eye. Attack right there. Straight from Tekken 7, this move has taken so many lives, so many ranks, and he's using it exactly the way people use it in the game, to close the gap to get up on your opponent. Jin goes for a hell sweep, and then follows it up with a kick. Boom, sent them flying away, and I really love this. You can see the red lightning, and it, it's really cool because what he's using what Heiachi taught him. All of that training, that blood, that sweat, those tears is paying off in this moment. Good luck tomorrow, kid. So you too. Who needs luck? I've got the skills. <laughs> I believe in Tekken 7, this move is a power crush. Correct me if I'm wrong. But he does this move to King and then boom, 
knocks them back. I really love this animation style. Whenever they do a big hit like this, it goes black and white with a little bit of red sparks in there. It really makes you feel that impact. Hawk, it's crazy how many moves from the games they're putting into this match. And going back to what I said about King and Paul Phoenix being on the same level, so far King is getting destroyed by Paul Phoenix. So maybe they're not on the same level. To advertise you're related to Mr. Kazuya Mishima. So who is this? Who is this character? This character tells Jin, do not advertise you're related to Kazuya Mishima. Kazuya was evil in its purest form. And then it switches over to a different voice and it says, Kazuya is evil in its purest form. And it kind of shows the events of Tekken 2. Oh, and right there, that's Heiachi. That's Heiachi. Heiachi falls down, boom, defeated. The Mishima bloodline is tainted. The last thing you want to do is get tangled up with the Mishimas. Oh, so that's Nina's doing the voiceover. Nina is telling Jin that uh, Kazuya is evil. And Nina would know this because Nina was abducted by Kazuya. She spent the last 15 years cryo sleeping and being tested on by Kazuya. So if anyone knows how evil and twisted it is, it's Nina and Anna. So her giving Jen this information is vital. I wonder if this is like the final battle when Jen finally decides to step up to, to Heiachi. Heiachi summoning a whole lot of electricity here, looking like he's about to do like a Kamehameha or something like this. What move is he planning to do? <laughs> Every opponent you defeat is one step closer to defeating Ogre. This green smoke, I'm guessing this is going to be with Jin fights Ogre. And he says, challenge accepted. This is his moment to get revenge. And I wonder if he's channeling the devil gene here or if this is just some sort of effect for the trailer. And then it shows Nina running at someone, we don't know who, Jin charging Ogre. This is, look how beat up the stage is in the background. I know you guys probably won't be able to see it uh, because of the YouTube compression, but the stage is beat up. You can tell there's been a bunch of matches here. Julia, this is Julia. Oh, that's Heiachi. I thought that was Ogre, but that's Heiachi. You can see the hair there. So Julia is the yellow effect. Heiachi is the blue effect and they're kind of like battling each other. That's interesting. It, it speeds up so fast right here. So you have Jin look like he's going to do, Jin look like he's moving fast. You could tell by the background he's rushing someone. Harang doing that launcher that everyone loves to spam online. Challenge accepted. I, I don't know what's happening here. He's being hit by red lightning. I don't know who this could be. Heiachi has blue lightning. Oh, I think I understand. So Heiachi's just watching this. What I think is happening here, Heiachi is seeing Jin turn into the devil form. And in this moment, Heiachi is realizing that Jin has the devil gene just like Kazuya. And this may be the moment where Heiachi realizes he's a problem. Because if we go back a few seconds into the trailer, he lost to Kazuya when he was harnessing this same type of energy. So Heiachi's probably spooked in this moment. He sees that, you know, he wanted Jin to be, you know, the next up, the prodigy. But in this moment, his heart is probably broken because Jin has the devil gene. You have Jin super uppercutting Haran. And I think what this is referring back to is the story. In the story, Jin kind of loses control of the devil gene and he nearly kills Haran. He puts him in a coma. This may be that moment right here playing out because leading up to this moment, we saw Haran and Jin have this friendly rivalry, but this is the moment where the devil gene really takes over and Jin crosses that line. And then that's the end of the trailer. Tekken Bloodline, and like I said, it gives us the release date after that, August uh, 17th. I really am looking forward to this, and I will be doing breakdowns of the episode once the actual series comes out. But that's going to be it for this one. I just wanted to do a breakdown of this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time, and bye-bye.